welcome to pouches and more and today we'll be preparing this completely foldable shopping bag so this is how it is it can be completely folded and kept in the pocket this is the actual size of the bag it is big enough so this is how we will be folding it and this bag can be completely folded now and kept inside the pocket that is prepared along with it. So this is how it will be. So let's check out the materials required to make this foldable shopping bag. So we require one piece of main fabric, we have folded it in half and this measures 32 inches by 19 and quarter inches. We require one piece of fabric for the pocket and this measures 19 and 3 foot by 5 and half inches. Next we will be requiring two pieces of fabric this is for the straps and these measure 15 and 3 fourth inch by 6 inch next we require one main fabric measuring one and a half inch by 9 inch so these are all the materials required to make this bag so first we'll be preparing the pocket for that we've taken this pocket fabric and we'll just be folding it so the wrong side is together we have folded the wrong sides together now from the folded side we are going to make a marking of 4 inches so this is the depth of our pocket this will be the depth of our pocket now on this 4 inch mark what we are going to do is we are just going to keep the scale and one piece of fabric just one fabric we are going to fold it like this on the opposite direction so once that is done we will just turn the whole thing over we'll hand press this now we can also iron it and we just turn it over and we'll get the other fabric also to the same length we'll be folding it to the same length so we can iron this fabric from the side it looks like this and we're just going to clip this now we need to make a stitch before that we're just going to prepare this loop so first we're going to fold it in half then we're going to get the raw edges to the center and again fold it and we're going to clip the entire thing now we'll be making a single stitch over here so this is the pocket now on one side we're just going to open it since we need to insert this loop that we just prepared it is not a wristlet since it is not as big as a wristlet we can call it a fingerlet since we can hold it in our fingers so now once we have inserted the loop we're just going to again clip it and make a set in the side So once that is done, we will just turn the whole thing right side out. So we will be turning this pocket right side out. So our pocket will be done and ready now. So this is how it will be. Now we are just going to flatten it. So this is how our pocket is ready. We just keep this aside. Now we will prepare the straps. For that we have taken the strap cloth. and little more than quarter inch we will be folding it twice so once and twice so two times little more than quarter inch we will be folding it and we will be doing this for the other side as well as the other strap also so total four times we will fold and then make a stitch so now we 
now we place the main fabric right side is facing up now we'll have to attach the straps so on either side of the main fabric we are going to take a make a marking of two and quarter inches so this will be done on either side so on one side we'll be taking two and quarter inches this is from where we'll be attaching the straps so the other side also two and quarter inches Now on this 2 and quarter inches, we'll have to place the straps that we just prepared. So we'll take the strap. Now the right side will be facing down. So the right sides will be together. We'll be attaching, placing it from the 2 and quarter inches. We'll do that on the other side also, right side facing down. Attach it from the two and quarter inches marking. I will be making a straight simple stitch on both the straps. Now we have done that for one side, we'll do that for the other side also. For that, we'll just turn this cloth like this. Again, the right side is facing up, the other side, right side is facing up. Now similarly, we'll repeat the entire thing for the other side also. So this is at two and quarter inches marking. On either side, we have done two and quarter inches. Now we'll be placing the strap. We have already stretched the strap on the other side. So we just flatten the strap and we place it on the two and quarter inch marking. Do that for both the straps right side will be facing down now again we'll make a stitch on both of them so finish making a stitch so we have attached the straps to the main fabric now we'll just turn the whole thing over now here on the on the rim of the Back, we have double folded it and ironed it so here we'll be making two folds of nearly half inch so one fold and another fold of half inch so this is on one side we are doing it from one side we have started now when we reach the straps first fold we will be pushing in the raw edge and the second fold we will fold the strap upward so first fold we have just folded it half inch that is the raw edge will go inside and second fold it is up the strap will be up so there will be a fold of half inches twice so the center will be doing it similarly just fold it once and two times once and two times and both half half inch again the strap will be doing it in the same way first half inch of the strap we will be folding the raw edge inside just as we did first half inch we will be folding the raw edge inside the second half inch it will be facing up the strap will be facing up and we will have to make a stitch on this so one it goes inside fold is inside and second we are just going to press it like this and strap will be up above So we have also enclosed the raw edge of the straps as well as the top of the shopping bag. So on the other side also we will do, we'll do the, it the same way that is two folds half inch and half inch. So this is completed. This is one side. One side is completed. We need to make a stitch on this. We will be making double stitch. We will finish the other side also. We will do it the same way for the straps and the entire thing now here there's a center marking that we have done 
here will be attached in the pocket so you will have to make a center mark in the pocket for that we'll just be folding it and making a center mark this is our center mark we'll just lift the center part of the flap center part of the flap we'll just lift it lift it and enter push the pocket raw edge inside aligning the center marks so just push the raw edge of the pocket inside aligning the center mark and again clip it so here we'll be attaching our pocket also the raw edge of the pocket is gone inside and here we'll have to make a stitch that is a double stitch so this is how it will be looking this is one side and this is the other side we have just clipped the whole thing here we will be making a double stitch on both sides now the top is complete and done let me double stitch on both the sides now we'll turn the back to the right side so our bag is turned to the right side now we're just going to align the sides of the fabric both the sides we're just going to align it and clip it we need to make a stitch over there so we'll do that for the other side also align it from the top and the bottom and clip the entire thing from top to bottom now we need to make a stitch over here this will be less than quarter inches stitching less than quarter inches we are making a stitch so we've done a stitch mark over here now we'll just turn the whole thing to the wrong side so this is the wrong side now now again we'll be making a stitch on this that is less than half inches we are going to make a stitch in the side so finish doing that now on the base on the base we need to make a marking of three and a half inch from the stitch mark so from the stitch mark we'll be taking a marking of three and a half inch on either side only on the base so this is a three and a half inch marking now we will be folding on this three and a half inch mark and align the base we need to make a stitch over here that is to complete the base of the bag so here three and a half inch marking i'm just going to fold it on the marking now we have folded it on the marking and we just want to clip it we need to make a simple straight stitch on this we'll just flatten the whole thing so make a straight stitch over here this is done our bag is completed now we'll just turn the whole thing right side out so this is a completed bag how it will be looking now so that the straps are held in place we're just going to make a top stitch right in the center so we just folded it half align the stitch marks and we'll be making a top stitch on both in the center right in the center we'll be making a top stitch so that the straps are held together in place that's a simple straight stitch that we'll be doing so i finished doing the straight stitch now this is completely optional i'll be stitching the side that is only to hold this fold i'm just going to stitch the whole thing on both the sides this is completely optional so both sides round will be stitched so 
so i finished doing that and our shopping bag is completely ready and done this is how it will be looking now this is the pocket that we have done prepared and this is how we'll be folding it to put the whole thing inside the pocket so first fold the straps then fold the sides and then we'll be rolling the entire thing we can fold it or we can roll it also so i'll be folding it and this is how we'll insert the whole thing inside the pocket that we prepared so this is a convenient shopping bag which can be folded and taken around we can also make a zipper pocket for this we'll be doing that in some other video so this is how it looks it's compact and it's got a loop so that we can hold it by in our fingers thanks for watching bye